Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so these next like five or so episodes are basically just kind of like fillers, uh, like little things, but you kind of need to know them. Some are just you know fun stuff that you might not even need to know. Uh, like the last one, vibration. You don't really need to, need to know that. It was a short tutorial, but it was just thrown in there. Uh, I'm gonna try and pack you know as much as I can. Fifty episodes. Um. <coughs> Hell, the last three episodes were kind of fillers as well, anyways. But these next five are definitely going to be fillers. And then the last five are going to be fairly important. The last six, even. Um, so, let's get started. Um, now, one thing I've actually been asked uh, before, I don't know who by. Um, <coughs> but they're like, okay, so if I have my game on a desktop and I want to use, you know, these keys, you know, keys, keyboard keys, but if I'm on Android, um, you know, I want it to be tilt. Uh all you'd have to do in the input, you know, where your inputs are, literally just be GDX dot you know, the key stuff and then an or and then, you know, your accelerometer stuff. So say you wanted one thing to be specific to Android and iOS, say on screen controls. Then what you would do, you do switch GDX dot app dot get type case Android. And then your Android specific code case desktop and then your desktop specific code forgot the break <coughs> and then default so what I'd recommend if you do have on-screen controls I recommend um, having them in there by default you know make them a default thing uh, so here you know have a boolean to turn them on and then here, turn them off and use, you know, normal keyboard controls. I'd still recommend keeping keyboard controls in your game, because if someone wants to connect their keyboard to the Android phone or whatnot, you know, <coughs> uh, that's pretty much it for that. There's, you know, so if you wanted to get the version uh, of the OS uh, your user's running on, <coughs> so for example, uh, what you'd have to do is int version equals gdx dot app dot get version. And what this will do, on desktop it'll return at zero. On iOS it'll return the major iOS version. iOS 5, 6, 7. Okay. Uh, on Android it will return the SDK level. So SDK level 3 is Android 1.5, SDK level 19 is Android 4.4 KitKat. I'll I'll have I'll try and get the SDK levels and show you know it's a table. I'll try and get the table up on screen for you now <coughs> if I can. And that's pretty much it for querying. Uh, again, very short tutorial. Uh, will the next one be short? The next one shouldn't be that short, actually. The next one is fairly important. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you next trail. Bye-bye.